No one knows cool stuff like me. Whoa, what is this place? Oh man, this is like a strange new world. <laughs> So traditionally, story is one author putting forth his vision in a classic three-act structure with a set of characters and, and a set of stories that they're going to find themselves into, a set of dramatic stories. That's, that's typically how most things are pitched. But there's many more access points today where an audience can find any IP that they're interested in. There's an expectation that there's going to be interactivity. They want to contribute. So we've changed the fundamental dynamic of coming in and having to pitch your idea by doing and by drawing and not by talking and meeting. Nobody knows how she got so cool, but Rad tells me it's because her mom's a shinobi warrior and her dad is a dashing spy supermodel. It's really about us understanding generally where you're going to go and finding people that you can collaborate with and really getting behind the effort to get something actually made. So for example, we have this property, OKKO. Okay, OK KO started as a pitch uh, for a short. It was just going to be just a straight up, you know, regular uh, seven minute cartoon. There was a big response, not just to the narrative, but to the world and the vibe and like all of the characters. So that's a great starting place. Let's make sure that when this story is told, it's going to be told in every medium, in any possible way. And we ensure that happening by actually not producing a television show first. We put all of the artists and developers at the core and they introduced it via comics. They did it through games and conflict and it was an entryway into the world. We held a game jam where over 200 developers produced a volume of games in collaboration with Ian. Letting somebody else take a pass at that idea, it lets us know whether that idea itself is transmittable. What we tried to create was a world where there are a million jumping off points for people to not only choose their favorite character or their favorite thing about the world, but to sort of see themselves inside of it. If we're doing it right, a story is not just about a single narrative through line. A story is about really a larger idea. The invitation of, of other people to join the building of this story, and that can mean professional development community or audience community, is additive to this process. It's additive to the story. I think it just serves to make the universe and the characters more real because you see it morphing through the hands of whoever made it. It's actually about the idea of community. You can start with those characters and just one of their stories and access that, and you're inside of this property. I think people have a really good idea of who the characters are and what they represent. Storytelling comes from characters first. You read, um, he's uh, very egotistical, so he's, he's like large in his head, large up top, and he has this animal mouth and an afro, like the one I had in college. Whoa, this is totally new. Come on, Radicles. This is not something that ultimately is about monetizing that property. It's actually about developing that property. There's an ecosystem that we are building. This is not an experiment. This is the future of storytelling. This is a radical shift in the way that we're even thinking about how to bring in properties, how to actually create them, and then what has to go into that storytelling to make it ready to go everywhere else? The art of storytelling doesn't go away. You need a brilliant set of people at the core of that who have a clear vision. But the idea of what storytelling is is the thing that's actually shifted. Rules are for suckers, not rads.